The Twelve Days of Christmas Eve is a watchable film, but it's quite slow and mundane. This was released in 2004. It's directed by Martha Coolidge, written by Jean Abenader and J.B. White. And this stars Stephen Weber as the very unlikable Calvin Carter. And I have to say, I didn't like the character through most of it. I found him to be very unlikable for pretty much the film's entire duration. So that meant that because I wasn't emotionally invested in his story, I didn't find it to be a very sentimental film. It wasn't very moving. And the events within it are really boring. Nothing interesting happens. And... Well, the most interesting thing is the first time that he has to redo Christmas Eve because he's not spending Christmas Eve the way that he should be spending it. And something falls on top of him, and I will say it's quite comical. I won't spoil it just in case you decide to watch the film, but something falls on him. And he wakes up in this hospital bed, and there's this nurse called, called Angie. And he realises that he's redoing this same day, Christmas Eve, until he gets it right and he has 12 chances. And because he has 12 chances, that's a lot of repetition. Now, I love films where the characters have to relive the same day over and over again when it's done right. And unfortunately, this is not one of those occasions. The actual events are so dull. There is nothing interesting about the day that he is living over and over again to the point where it gets so ridiculously repetitive that I didn't know if I'd carry on watching it. But curiosity got the better of me and I was keen to see ultimately what would happen. But to be honest, it didn't pick up. It didn't progress. Obviously, the narrative itself did progress, but in terms of my interest in it, it just didn't go anywhere. I found it to be a poorly executed narrative Maybe I have high expectations because I love films where characters repeat the same day. But at the same time, I don't think it's that difficult to get right. As long as the events of that day are interesting and as long as you have different perspectives or you look at it from a different angle, it will work well. That's not what we get here. And when you throw in the fact that Calvin is very unlikable as a character... I just didn't care. I didn't care what happened to him. I didn't care about the story. And apart from some Christmas carols, it's not very festive either. And I can understand why, because obviously the whole point is that he's not really getting into the true meaning of the Christmas spirit. So he's not surrounding himself with kind of classic family Christmas scenes and, you know, decking the halls and singing carols around the tree and whatever because he's not involved in that we the viewer don't get to see any of that or or a lot of that and that also means it's not very festive so the character isn't likable the events are mundane it's very repetitive i'm trying to find some positives the acting is okay and the camera works fine and the music's okay. We do get a couple of Christmas carols and things, which is quite nice. But that is about the extent of the festivities. I wouldn't recommend it, which is a shame because, as I said, I love this kind of film. I was really hoping it would be good or even just okay. But unfortunately, it's slow. It's dull. Apart from the bit where he was first hit by something. I guess the one interesting thing is wondering how he's going to kind of end the day and have to restart it again. There was an element of, well, not even fascination there. I was slightly curious to see how he'd be, well, killed off as it were, you know, to end his day and then rebegin it, but not enough to the extent where I'd say it's a good example of how to do this kind of film. I didn't like it. I wouldn't watch it again. And unless, like me, you really love films that repeat the same day and you want to just see what it's like, I, I wouldn't say it's worth watching. It really isn't very good.